Okay, well, I guess it's six o'clock, so I will call the meeting to order. I don't have anybody for public comment. So we can go right on with the town administrator's report. I expect we're going to set a record tonight in terms of <laughs> meeting adjournment. <laughs> So I have the Harwood Union appointment of the select board school of the school board member on 919 during their regular meeting. So um, the Moortown Select Board can make a recommendation. Okay. For who will represent Moortown. Right. So I think you've been passed along all of the letters that have come except for one more that came tonight that was in favor of Kristen. Um, right. Kristen oh, yeah. Rogers. <laughs> like where are the reports? And the other two members are Denise Russo. Um, she I did a little thing on the front there. So you didn't have to read every yeah. single letter. She kind of summarized each letter. Well, that's good. <laughs> <clears throat> so. For Kristen Rogers, um, parent and nurse at CVH, the letters of support that we received from Skip Rogers, Rebecca Davis, resident and parent, Peter Langella, former board member, Jason Maring, resident, Sasha Bianchi, resident and parent, Laura Shallow, resident and parent, Daniel Mitchell, resident and Brian Fleischer, resident. Jim Casey ran last year as a, as a write-in. He moved here from Waterbury where he was on the school board. Denise Russo is a parent, worked for the state of Vermont, marketing experience and communications. Linda Hazard, parent, moved here in June, all three kids in Moortown. Program director of Vermont Department of Health, a master's degree in audiology, a doctorate in educational leadership and social policy. So, Kristen Rogers was the only one who got letters of support <clears throat> sent to you from the community. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> I'm just wondering if, if the others even realize that mm -hmm. that we had some say in this. Mm -hmm. But, um, <clears throat> but mm -hmm. I have one question about the letters. Did any of the letters emphasize cost control? I don't no. know if anybody said no. that. No, no, no. Not a one. Well, then I have no opinion. So you've got um, three choices not to make a recommendation, or to write a written recommendation, or have someone go for the select board and make your resident. Mm -hmm your recommendation if you want to verbally. Okay. Now, did you talk to Tom about that to no. see if he'd be available? I don't think Tom is going to be available. Okay. I didn't talk to him and ask him. Okay. Um, Last week, I thought he said he was going to be out of town for a couple of days. Okay. So, if we make a recommendation tonight verbally, how does that get to them? Um, I drafted a letter. Okay. Um, and it can be it can be modified to whoever, whoever. Yeah, whoever, yeah. We didn't even know there was other candidates until today, so that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't I, why don't I do this to make, make it official? <clears throat> why don't I move that we recommend Kristen, Sel uh, Kristen Rogers um, as the Moortown representative to the Harvard Union Unified School District. That's basically second. second. Kelly seconds. Okay. Any more discussion? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm, I've got mixed feelings on this one. I very much appreciate the effort that Kristen put in writing <clears throat> right to the board getting recommendations, actually coming to the board and, and responding to questions, which I feel she answered very well. Um, on the other hand, as was just brought up, we don't know if the other candidates 
even knew of the select board's involvement. They should have. They should, they should have. have checked into that. And yeah. the other part is I don't feel that I have a lot of knowledge of all the candidates to make a really weighed consideration. Now, the effort that Kristen went through counts for quite a bit, so I'm not saying, mm -hmm. no, I don't want to make a recommendation, but I feel that... How well does any of us know a candidate exactly. really... Exactly, and if we... Like Peter Langella ran on the ballot, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, then it's more the town's decision. And this person's only on until town meeting, till March. And then they have to run. The person won't have to run. So this Thank is still Thank you for your time. Yeah. 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 So I wasn't thinking of those terms. Hmm. I think I'm going to abstain. This one, I don't feel like I have enough information to make a recommendation. Okay. All right. Well, all in favor say aye. Aye. <laughs> and Jason abstains. Okay. <clears throat> so the letter says, uh, Dear Ms. Sullivan, that's Christine Sullivan, the board chair. The town of Moortown received several letters of support requesting Kristen Rogers be considered for appointment to fill the vacancy on the Harvard Unified. Howard Union Unified School District Board. At this time, the Town of Moortown Select Board respectfully recommends that Kristen Rogers be appointed to the HUUSD School Board as Moortown's representative to fill the vacancy until town meeting in March 2019. And so I'll sign that. Okay. In the morning. Okay, great. Hey, Carl. Good evening. You here for public comment? Yes, sir. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so I said, today's Monday. I'm going to go on the website and look at the agenda. Okay. There's no agenda on the website. <laughs> okay. For the slate board meeting. And that was my fault. Yeah. I'm wondering why. It's because I, when I emailed it to JV, I hit the wrong John, and he didn't notice that I had it sent it to him. That's why. Okay. So we contacted JV, and it was on there. It should have been on there mid morning. Yeah. Today. Yeah. But by noon, it wasn't there. So it's just it's it pet, it's pet peeve of mine. Mm -hmm. It should be. We're, we're uh, you know I can't rely on now, so I have to come down here and bother you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> And my other okay. uh, unrelated public comment would be, I'm sorry I missed the meeting about the subdivision last week, but uh, maybe you should consider a grandfather clause. If you want to put in subdivision regulations, maybe they begin at a date certain, after which properties purchased after that time would fall be subject to that, and those who are you know, property owned before that time could go with the old regulations. I think there's been grandfather stuff before. Mm -hmm. And I don't see why that might not be a compromise that could be made with the with the subdivision regulations. Mm -hmm. It's there. Mm -hmm. so, it's there? Yeah. That's a, uh, that's a good point. So you mean every property, like a property that's owned, or is grandfather owned before the regulations come in is grandfathered, not just the subdivisions that were started before. Yeah, I would think anything from mm -hmm. whenever they're enacted prior to that should be could be should be could be you know exempt or mm -hmm. grandfathered. And I can't think of uh, exact examples of things that have been grandfathered. We have I think we have in the past grandfathered mm -hmm. certain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. So. And what about if the property were to change hands? Well, the, Does it go with the property or the I property? Think it goes with the ownership. Yeah. Ownership. Yeah. Okay. Who owned it at the time the regulations yep. were? Right. Cool. Well, I have a okay. question for you on that. Yeah. Is there anything in the current proposed regulations 
that you believe is harmful or that? Um, I have I don't know if there's any changes that have happened since the meeting back in mm -hmm. August or July. Mm -hmm. Just suggestions. Right. Yeah. So. And we do have a list of suggestions if you mm -hmm. ever interested in those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll probably submit something myself. I saw mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. some comments by October, I think. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I'm just thinking if yeah. any changes don't work for you, they probably don't work for a whole category of people. Yeah, I, 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 I just, I, any, I, I'm always wary of the shells in there and, the, and any, anything that isn't carefully spelled out, which may give the ERB too much leeway in their analysis or, you know, it's just anything that's mandatory with a shell or a, or something that is so vague that it can be interpreted in who knows how many different ways. So that's, I guess, I'm sorry. I, I specifically, I can't tell you right now, but you know, I know there was some landscaping things in there and some road language that was kind of either vague or too <laughs> too broad to you know try to figure out where you're going with it. So mm -hmm. in general, but, but I, I, like I said, I'll try to sit down and write something up and let y'all know and think it. Thanks, because I'd, okay. I'd rather fix it than not. Uh, yeah. 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 So, great, thank you. Okay. So I got any good one on tonight? <laughs> no, very short meeting. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> thank All you. right, well, yeah, thanks yeah. for your input, Carl. Thank Appreciate you. it. <clears throat> um, the second thing that I have is more time applied for um, you remembered we, we've got to do the disaster mitigation plan and I asked you if mm -hmm. I could apply for a grant to have mm -hmm. CDRBC. We, we re got the grant, $10,000, one hundred and fifty. Um, so CDRPC will be assisting with the grant. Um, okay. I, uh, they said that they could do it for that amount. Uh, I mean, we'll send out with the guidelines, the federal guidelines, of course, we'll send out RFPs and, um, the bid process and whatever, but so we'll get that paid for and mm -hmm. <laughs> submitted to FEMA. Tremendous. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. And the last thing that I have <clears throat> was just something food for thought. I think the Montgomery Timber Appeal is going to be going to court. Mm -hmm. My food for thought would be do we want to keep with um, Paul Gillis or do we want to? Um, get Ron Shen's involved. So <clears throat> Ron Shen's charges $150 an hour, Paul Gillis charges $140 an hour. Mm -hmm. So that's just something for you to think about. Okay. Yeah, because it would be good to have the other two board members. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, for that. <clears throat> that's all I have. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time before. <laughs> well, that's right, yeah. Until then, I want to see Kenny. Oh, good. Kelly, mm -hmm. you have anything? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so I went to the budgeting workshop on Tuesday. Oh, cool. It was fantastic. Oh, good. Um, <clears throat> the town administrator in Waitsfield did a presentation on town reports and putting the budget in the town report and how to sell the budget to the townspeople, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. He did a really good job with it. So his PowerPoint wasn't in the, f the folder that we got. So they're going to email that so mm -hmm. when I get that I'll yep. send it out because his presentation was really good. Mm -hmm. They talked about water grants. The last presentation was long. <laughs> yeah. It was um, legal. Yeah. Legal stuff. I hear you. <laughs> and it was very dry. But other than that, it was really good. It was the first half I learned a lot. <laughs> good. Um, did they cover anything about tracking the budget? You know, once the budget is passed? And what reports do you see? And it, what it looks like is every town is different. Because mm -hmm. they gave us a copy of Hartford's 
and that was challenging to read. Like their highway department has a summer budget and a winter budget. Mm -hmm. And it's all categorized and it's mm -hmm. all over the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we actually have a summer and a winter budget too. But it's all combined in our reports, it's all combined as one. It's a lot easier to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because your bottom line is your bottom line. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that they said in presenting. <clears throat> In the town reports is to keep things as clear and concise mm -hmm. as you can and to think more general but also think for those deeper questions because some people mm -hmm. like, anticipate what people are going to want to know so you're prepared mm -hmm. to answer it mm -hmm. yeah, this is your first full budget you're going to be going through right mm -hmm. yeah you're going to be getting a draft budget at the next meeting um, no, the next 50. So that'll be good that you can look at that and hopefully we'll have waste fields. Because I think what waste field does is they put their operating budget, what's spent, and they also have their revenue mm -hmm. in there as well, right? So that's a, that's a manipulated report that can't be done off of our system. But if that's what you want, we can do it for the town report. So you can do anything you want for the town report. <laughs> The one thing they also talked about is different ideas if you want, um, just trying to get people more aware of doing open houses. And they would do like a traveling kind of part of the day where if the highway department wants a new truck or something else and the fire department wants a new truck, okay. you can go to the highway department talk to the people there, walk around, see what things look like. Then you can go just walk around and they have like an open house. To show Different like tours. Yeah. Yep. They so, do videos, time-lapse videos. So they had to, the departments, did you see that the departments had to prove to the select board why they need mm -hmm. this? What, what, their, what their summer plans were for, on the roads and why they needed yep. more budget in their culverts or more, yeah. And this is more of like getting it out and to your townspeople to present it mm -hmm. in a way that right. they can see it. Right. And who, who, um, who encouraged the departments to did they say who encouraged? Was it the select board encouraging the road department? I think road form. It was. It was coming from either the select board or the town administrator or the town clerk saying, "Hey, this may be a good idea." I guess Barry used to do a tour, but Barry Town. Barry I've gone to a City. couple of those at Barry Town. Yeah, they have tours. They were doing some. Yeah, every town handles them different. How they how you request. <laughs> for articles, I guess, you know, how, and. What I'm afraid of in that approach is it sounds like a way to make it easier to sell budget increases. It doesn't sound like a way to go over budgets to look for savings or what could be done to, to control. And that's why really in our town report, we've never had the mm -hmm. revenue in there. Because, of course, your revenue shows in there if you got a grant, you spent 40000 out for a grant, you got reimbursed 37500 the difference was your town pay. I was talking more of the open house than the revenue idea. Okay. So. It's a way for the people in the town to go mm -hmm. see why. They, the mm -hmm. example that he used was, in one highway garage to move trucks in and out because of the size of it, they had to spend a half an hour to an hour moving stuff around mm -hmm. back and forth. And no one really understood why in the town. So they did a video and they did a time lapse video where you can see it going through and how long it takes. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. was very eye opening just for the public mm -hmm. to say, oh, okay, there's actually that sounds something like there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Neat. Well, good. Thanks for attending that. That's, that's tremendous. Great, it would be good. Yeah, sure. No idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It's a learning process. Mm -hmm. First year, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. Be good. <clears throat> Jason, do you have something? Um, no, I have a work in progress. Okay. Um, going over the um, job descriptions and seeing how they lay out. And you know, it was very handy that you highlighted whoever did the yellow mm -hmm. stuff that was moved. Mm -hmm. And um, what we don't have is for each task, we don't know the hours for each individual task. And that's, yes. Uh, not <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, not, not realistic. And without knowing the hours, it's hard to put it together into 40 hour packages or 20 hour packages. Yeah. I think so. you gave him what I suggested for the time. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from experience. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, you know on the, kind of the time from what I've experienced. Mm -hmm. years, that's <coughs> sometimes, you know, that's I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. you're right in the middle of a project and something of more priority comes along. So, yep. Yes. Yeah, Okay. Well, the um, only thing I have is I would like to thank Katrina for a job well done in organizing Morfest. Thank you. <laughs> very, very <clears throat> good time. Yeah, I was, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Yeah. The only suggestions I've received from next year was more food, which we knew going into it we didn't have enough. Uh -huh. okay. So that was mm -hmm. the biggest one. Yep. Now, are we going to stick with that same time frame for next year? It's going to be a week earlier. A week earlier. It's going to be the yeah, that, weekend between Labor Day that's, and that's September good. Yeah, That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. Because I believe there wasn't anything <clears throat> happening that weekend. So I was trying to remember. I'm like, I don't think there was really anything going on. So yeah, yeah that's good. Earlier, yeah. yeah. That would be good. Was there anything else people mentioned that they might like to see? Um, there was a few. Um, we needed more shade, and who knew it was going to be 85 degrees that day. Um, I'm moving the band closer. I think actually, uh, Dwayne and I talked about it that evening that we might get a, a flatbed trailer and put it in the middle of the field so the band is actually on the field rather than over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And um, more food vendors? Yeah, really. Yeah. It was just more food. Yeah, yeah I, I got a, actually a pretty long email about they really like the historical society's display and they want to see more of that more of their, mm -hmm. well, the history of the town display yeah. every year. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could move them in under the gazebo or something where they could really spread it out. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I mean, rave reviews from everybody. We had almost mm -hmm. 200 people, which is way more than what we normally have. Yeah, that's good. And that was just for me standing there counting at one point. And by the time I hit like 180, I hadn't gotten to the beer tent, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't hear one bad thing about the beer tent. No, which is yeah, the sheriff was good. very happy. He said he had no problems with anybody, no problems with driving, parking, nothing. Did it get busier later as far as the beer tent? Because um, I see a lot of people there. Well, there's probably a good 30, 40 people in there, about 6, 30, 7 o'clock, okay. yeah. Okay. After most everything had died down, that's mm -hmm. what everybody was. <laughs> But then, I mean, once fireworks started too, I bet there was more like 250 down here because the back parking right. lot got full too. I mean, because mm -hmm. we sent people to where the car show was to park. So the fireworks are pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Well, tremendous. Fun time. Or then you yeah. There was a pretty good place in Croatia. There was, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think, I think. Or something? The sprinter? Is that what it was called? The sprinter on the side of it? Which, which one's, which one's that? I'll call it was that. <laughs> I don't know, I just noticed the car. I think it was a Camaro. There's a lot of I different remember. ones. Yeah, I, I do remember. It's got a 700 that. block engine in it, something like that. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, <clears throat> for more towns choice, I mean, I, I thought that Corvette. The 64. The white one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it was all original. Yeah. Even the paint. Mm -hmm. you know, so, I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it really was. I wonder what that would go for on Barrett Jackson option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All original like that? Yeah, really. Yeah. 
I like that 56 Chevy. Mm -hmm. That I like too, yeah, the, the Bel Air, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was very tough to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very pretty car. What's that? We used to have one of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else we have here? This is um, <clears throat> from Don uh, Butson. Um, I made the change on our house and house index, but was just told that the listers have opted to not have us update the index for them, so they will need to make these changes in their CMA. C-A-M-A. So they've decided not to have numeric updates of index. <clears throat> okay. So when a title search has come in, it's not correct. Okay. Well, the listers, they've decided not to have CAI do it. I talked to Mike and Deborah this afternoon. Okay. And they're going to be doing it themselves. Okay. Updating the camera. Um, I asked them what the fee would be to have them to have CAI do it, and that said they said um, there would be a fee, not not a whole big fee, but there mm -hmm. would be a fee. So <clears throat> I know you're looking over um, an estimate for a number to do work to help the listers. So I don't know if that's something that you want to ask at the time to make sure that they are doing the camel work as well if you decide to go with us. Mm -hmm. The what work? Sorry, camel, C-A-M-A. -A. That's the, oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. that's the no, I was thinking about that, and one of the risks there is that any work over what they think has to be done costs us $75 an hour. Yeah, the original contract is too. Yeah. So also what I found too when I was looking at that, I actually have a copy of their original contract. We've had them since 2012 and their price hasn't changed mm -hmm. at all. And they've mm -hmm. never gone over. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. for your so information. So that again, there's some additional liability to the estimate. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that another way to cover that risk is anything that starts going over could be additional work for our listeners instead. Right. Which would be a cheaper way, possibly, depending on what it is. Yeah. You're so right. that might be a way to worry less about the 75 an hour for mm -hmm. a low bridge. Mm -hmm. And thank you for digging up the contract. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just a, you can, there's copies there if you guys want to have one to look at. Yes, indeed. And thank it's the same day. one every year, mm -hmm. I've, I found. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Yeah, they got that one last time. Mm -hmm. All right. And the next thing is a Pony Farm guardrail. Um, <clears throat> From the town garage, it says, uh, good morning, I just hung up with the Lafayette Sheldon Company regarding the guardrail install to protect the house on Pony Farm. Yesterday, the price was more than I expected. They quoted me 1,690 installed. Thanks for Martin. And you had me look at a grant, there's no grant for it. Mm -hmm. I need look. Thank you. I think it was an erosion problem. Yeah, or something. There's lots of things for that. <laughs> so is he? Look, he's looking for yeah or nay. Uh, no, they just. Uh, I think the homeowners waiting for the town's opinion, and I don't know if Martin's talked to them or not. I can check with Martin. Is there any precedent for sharing costs and something like that? Of course. I would say that they should pay the whole thing if they're the ones that want it. <laughs> uh, yeah. right. I mean, Martin said it wasn't needed as a road, as far as road safety goes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And then we've got the notice of the alleged violation for the Mad River uh, management. 
Resource Management Alliance. <clears throat> Is this the same Which thing we had seven. last year? Yeah. 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 And you saw my email from John Malter. Yeah. Mm He'll -hmm. get it in for the before the violation day is September 25th or whatever. But then he's going to have an audit done. Rightfully so. It's a good job by him, mm -hmm. I think, to be on top of that stuff. So that the representation of how much we're actually shipping here in this district. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, this is an interesting letter. <laughs> oh, you weren't here last week when they read that last week. Oh, they read last week? Yeah. Okay. But, and they asked for maps, the man that wanted to donate ah, the land. Okay. Oh, okay. So I mm -hmm. put maps in there and I didn't, I think. He, Maybe didn't Thomas write a drive up maybe and see what it looked like? I can't remember. Isaac Grams? Yes. But his also, I hadn't had a chance to look at it. His mm -hmm. got a major change with the tax maps. But I haven't looked to see mm -hmm. if I can find. I haven't done the background work yet. He was okay. also going to ask Martin if that's of any use. Yeah, for like a turnaround or something because it wasn't very big. So you can leave that in until next time if you want. Okay. So it's it's only 0.45 well, of an acre? Or... It changed, I think, right? Did they go from 0.45 to one? Oh, right, something? right. Yeah, yeah, right, right, okay. So I, I'm going to try to figure out which one it actually is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and these are we've <laughs> done yeah. comments. Okay, comments um, for the subdivision. <clears throat> and uh, we saw this one too, right? On the, the letter from Kathleen Skomet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not sure what's going to happen with that yet. Right. I expect she's going to be used as a witness for the defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like the way the new trail is laid out. So we'll see. Yeah. That's one of my concerns. Um, yeah. Do you have any idea why that comes out now? No. No. We have not. We have not um, received any reply back from our comments yet that mm -hmm. I have seen. That would be the next step. That we answered the questions of, of Montgomery Timber, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen anything more on that. My guess is um, the first thing will be a request for both parties on mediation. Mm -hmm. They always do. Mm -hmm. So you can be thinking about options, bargaining. I'm still hoping we won't be a party. You'll definitely be a party because they appeal the decisions. Mm -hmm. yeah. By, we may not need to be an active party. Well, no. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. But that's it. I mean, when we know, mm -hmm. then will be your, you have to think about who's going to pursue this for the town. I don't think it would take anyone too long to catch up. I have, <clears throat> when this started, I started writing down what happened and when, and so I've got a whole flow chart of what happened and when, mm -hmm. right up to this, right up to the appeal. Where is your flowchart start? I don't know, remember what year. I think mm -hmm. it was 2013 or 2012. 2012. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. okay. there was a lot of activity predating that and me. Okay. And I just yeah. was wondering if that's documented anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got yeah. summarized on that. Mm -hmm. Tell me I can keep it straight. <laughs> yeah, for sure, because for all those years we thought the trail was. You know, that location that 
that has been used and so on and so forth for all those years. Mm -hmm. And I copied all the minutes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. so, so I don't think it will take someone too long to figure out mm -hmm. what's going on. Continue. Okay. So let's move on to the minutes. Approval of 9 4. That is true that you don't have to, supposedly don't have to be there. That's what he said, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly not the way that I have always been doing it. So, <clears throat> so. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we, uh, uh, so we don't have enough board members to approve them. Oh, if you weren't here. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, yeah we right. here for the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. In case Jason and Tom have something that they want to add to it, I'll put it back on, on the next one. Yeah. We're going to need a special yeah. meeting. Yeah. Special meeting on that one. <laughs> Okay. And the same with 9-10? 9-10, uh, we were all here. What? Yeah. yeah, so we can do that. And then you got the second copy that was a lot clearer than the first. Yeah, yeah. That was JP. <laughs> I was like, okay. I sent it to him and he's like, let's go with this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Unless, you know, the board wants to wait until we have a full board for those two. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. That's supposed to make sense. Yeah, might as, might as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. what the heck. <clears throat> okay, old business. Uh, the um, Waterbury Ambulance Service. I have some stuff for you, but I'd rather everybody be here. Okay. Because <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Heading um, towards that record. Yeah. Okay. And then Nimerick. Yeah, after we got that. Mm -hmm. Well, you talked about it a little bit already. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I would say that we should uh, do the finance committee update, um, seeing that uh, Charlotte did make a deposit mm -hmm. of five hundred thousand to Northfield Savings Bank uh, for. The field or community? No. It came out of community and went into no, okay. the yeah, CD. Yeah. The nine the nine month C D at two percent. Nine month two percent? Yeah. Um and the um I did want to mention that it is not totally FDIC insured, but it's backed by um, their mortgages. So. Northfield Savings Bank's okay. mortgages, mortgages. The, 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 the first 250000 is the equivalent of FDIC insured and then thereafter? Well, the first two fifty, but, um, well, wait a minute, we already have, no, we don't have anything no. there. Yes, we do have something there. Yeah. Yeah, we have so cemetery funds. We have the cemetery yeah, funds. And the rec funds. Fund. I mean, so that's, rec fund, sorry. that's about more. A hundred. But you're right, still, the first 250 is 
FDIC insured of all of our funds together, right. um, and the balance, the total balance, mm -hmm. is insured by the Northfield Savings Banks via the collateral of the mortgages. Yep. So. Is the cemetery fund there under Town of Moortown or cemetery yes. fund of Town of Moortown? Town of Moortown. If that were cemetery fund of Town of Moortown instead, that would not uh, impact the 250k limit for the rest of the town. Right, but I think it's fifty thousand or something like that. It's not a okay. tremendous amount. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a perpetual fund. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else you want to add to that, or no? Goodness. Okay. Right. And uh, the the yeah, other thing I, I wanted to add to that is that we're not going to see a five hundred dollar line item for the coming year for interest. Mm -hmm. So. Right, right. <laughs> because you only deposited 500,000 and 500,000 is gonna be still available to use for payments and. Right, right, exactly. Instead of a TAM, right? Right, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Okay. I just wanted to make that clear in the minutes in case something happened. Mm -hmm. Why would you do with the other? Right, right, right. yeah. Okay, um, other old business? Um, I think we've talked about whatever else. I, I, I would say that the Harris screening plan can be taken off. I asked just, Tom about that, and I think he's... I think this this plan is still to plant trees, isn't it? But no, we'd have to order some more. Yeah. Maybe it can be taken off until it's mentioned again. I don't know. I mean, there would have to be there would have to be um, measurements and everything taken again. I guess. It's, yeah. So right. off just leave, I was just just leave it on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so any new business? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to do anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Besides sign, sign the order sheets. <laughs> I can tell you, Stefan and I are going to a um, grant writing workshop for what are the name of those grants? Fire department ones. It's uh, uh, assistance of firefighter grant. We're going to a grant writing workshop on Thursday. The people that decide tell you how to write them. <laughs> so we're going to that. <laughs> Well, this is the benefits of having Cheryl and Katrina. Because, <laughs> boy, oh boy, in the olden days, you know, <clears throat> there's no way we'd ever end a meeting this early. <laughs> uh, so thank you for a job well done. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you have to find out is more. Yeah. yeah. some family issue and so I actually called her today oh that's her, her oh good I 
um, and she's probably calling back tonight. Uh, it would be either tomorrow or, or Wednesday. Yeah, that's that we her work over there. Good, okay. She works at the Department of Taxes. Ah, okay. All right, good, thanks. Do we have other outstanding uh, right away issues? No, that's it. That's it. That, we only have that one because the state pulled that into the project. Mm -hmm. yeah, for which I am going to uh, remind them of if we run over budget. I was in here today and working on stuff for the bridge down there, too. Yeah, for the other bridge. Yeah. <clears throat> From Bridgeford River, uh, we're all we're basically tracing the Mad River yeah. down, and and Maya was talking about the 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 fact that the we have steep narrow valleys here. Yeah. And so I figured Grandma's Bridge is a great place to shoot it. So sure is. you had me right in the, the bridge and <clears throat> looking so you could see right uh, uh, down river. So. That was. Um that bridge is in a lot better condition when Grandma owned it, when my grandparents owned that, uh -huh. up there where Mary lives. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's why it's called Grandma's. Oh, okay. That <laughs> was my grandma. Grandma, because it was Grandma's restaurant. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They bought it from my grandparents. Oh, uh, how about that? Bud. Yes. Somebody. I didn't know that. So uh, what's the condition of that bridge now? Well, it's a lot better than it used to be. There used to be planks that were missing like this, and you know, kids <laughs> trick or treating, you know. My brother would say, Oh, no, it's not there, there. Oh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> well, you gotta go down in the water. <laughs> you know, some of the bridges used to be open, and only mm -hmm. the wheel face of the car was mm -hmm. had the planks. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it still impresses me every time I'm on that bridge. It's, that is a neat spot. Yeah. <clears throat> It's down there. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, anything else? Thank you much for the adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Thank you. <laughs>